guys. Thanks. Yeah. Good. Good day today. Questions? How would you assess your tackling at this point? Uh, well, our tackling last last week's game was not very good. But I think it had a lot to do with uh, how good the running back was. Uh, I think uh, I kind of felt a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it had a lot to do with the physicality. That's one of the things that, that, that I think our guys have to understand that right now that we're dealing with is that, you know, we're playing such a, uh, you know, uh, every week it's been a physical battle. Uh, Wisconsin, then Stanford, then USC. I mean, I'm talking about extremely physical. And I think our tackling got a little tired. And I, and I, I mean, I think it, you know, I was trying to get them motivated because we were three scores ahead or something like that. And uh, I think we let up a little bit and then I think we got a little sloppy. But um, uh, we can't work it anymore we're working it. On, on offense, is this team clicking on all players? I mean, especially at just the right time, it seems. Well, they were last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of times when players are on the road and they're going to the town they grew up in, coaches worry about distractions. Have you like made a point not to do anything that could be distracting just because there's family and friends? Oh, it's yeah. been a miserable week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it has been. Uh, but uh, no, I, I've, I've, I've turned my phone in to my, to my to assistant. Uh, it's been a little bit, little bit distracting, but uh, uh, it's uh, we're, we're getting our work done. We'll be fine. Are there any, any guys who, who you think may be close to emerging with the second group or just that you're trying to get? Marcus Hardison's a guy that I think's close to emerging. We're really working hard. Salamo needs to. Uh, we're trying to work him to get where he, he, he'll he uh, step it up. And he's just, you know, he just, uh, he's still got a lot of youth on him, you know, and uh, uh, so, but Salamo's a guy that we think has got a chance to really step up. Demaris Randall's a guy. Marcus Hardison's a guy, uh, you know, uh, you know, one of the things we try, we, we pride ourselves in is transitioning those guys extremely fast to, to a high level. And uh, uh, Marcus has had his best weeks of practice. His last week and this week have been the two best weeks he's practiced. So I'm looking for him to, to really step up. Um, you know, and then, then Damaris is a guy that really needs to help us. And uh, you missed all the camp and all that. So he's still, I mean, he's still a ways away, but um, uh, he's a guy that I'm, I think is getting closer. And I, and I, so we're hoping that he can play some this week. You mentioned, you know, you touch on the distraction a little bit. Is, is that part of the challenge this week to get these kids to just say, hey, look, this is just a game. We, you, know, you know, yeah, we're playing at Cowboy Stadium. It's prime time. It's Notre Dame and so on. Yeah, I'll be real honest with you. I mean, if I come and say it was distract, I, this is, you don't get these opportunities very often in your life. And uh, um, I can tell you that um, uh, we got. We will have no excuses. This is a national stage game. Uh, it's a big, big opportunity for our team, and we need to go play well and and, and put you know put you know put two weeks together that we play play well. You know, and uh, um, obviously that you know they got there'll be a big challenge, but uh, you know field's still the same width, still the same length. Uh, you know, got to be able to handle those things, and I, I I don't think our guys will have a problem with that. Now we're taking more guys because I'm taking a lot of the freshmen that are red shirt and stuff. I want them to get an experience of being in that kind of setting. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and we always go by the stadium before we play in it. I don't like to walk in the stadium and, uh, you know, be warming up the first time you've ever been in there. So uh, we'll, we'll do that. But uh, I think our guys, uh, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I'll, you know, I, uh, uh, I know our guys have work, worked hard. Tuesday's practice was the best Tuesday practice we've had all year. Uh, we had a good practice today, uh, not as good as yesterday, but, but a good practice today. And, um, uh, you know, um, the key is to get better every day, every rep. So if we do that, and you know, I don't think there's, you can never, that can never be an excuse. I don't know, I really don't get that. How it could be, how could it be a distraction playing in a setting? That's what you work for, that's yeah. why you do it. I mean, that's, uh, uh, could this be an opportunity that's bigger than just this team? Could this be an opportunity for the program as a whole? As you mentioned, to be on a national stage and get some. Last week was a big step for our program. We stepped forward, um, and um, you know, after getting knocked down, to come back like that, I think speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. uh, we needed to just be consistent, quit getting knocked down, and quit making violent comebacks. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go out and play four quarters, and uh, you know, we're playing against a lot better opponent. I mean, uh, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot more difficult and. Planning, uh, uh, the coaching's better, the, the the players are better, all that. So uh, um, 
you know, I, I think our guys are maturing, and uh, I know they're looking forward to this game, and it's something that uh, our fans are looking forward to. I know I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I just want to win by one point.